What's up, Carol? Oh, Yuri! Take a look! It's as good as new! Good to see you're as useful as ever. That's not yours, though, is it? It's mine! Thanks. This boy's been fixing up all the stuff that got knocked around in that commotion. He even went back to the lower quarter to pick all these things up. <laughs> Actually, Repeat found most of it. These are my favorite shoes, and you can't hardly see where they got torn. This guy's awesome. He sewed up a dress that was very important to me. Thanks again for that. Are you sure about doing this, Carol? Tomorrow's the final battle. It's okay. I was actually a little worried. I couldn't really sleep anyway when I started thinking about the battle tomorrow. I just thought I might as well help out if there was anything I could do. <laughs> I didn't think Rapide would want to come help, though. I was a little surprised. He probably guessed what you were thinking. He doesn't just go along with anything. <laughs> yeah, I guess. <laughs> well, don't push your luck. Ah, oh, come on, Rapide. Oh, this boy's got a bright future ahead of him. You are looking at the esteemed boss of our guild. You might learn a thing or two from him yourself, you know. I walked right into that one. Memories support the heart, and our dearest possessions are the vessels for those memories. Thank you, young man. I'll just do a little more, and then I'll call it a night. Okay, just don't overdo it. Yeah, I know. He's actually sleeping. Man, I can't tell if he's brave or just stupid.
Weren't you gonna have a touch and reunion with your bestest pal? No, it's that lieutenant of his. Ugh, she's scary. Hmm? Oh, well, I guess I can see that. What do you mean? Ah, huh, well, it's just... she's so serious. Gotta be careful not to rub her the wrong way. I'm not rubbing anything any way. Well, you most certainly can't please all the people all the time. <laughs> I guess you're right. So what are you doing here? Oh, just thinking about stuff. Hey, why are you looking at me like that? With all we've been through, I guess I'm just trying to figure out what I should do with myself. But I keep coming up empty. Change wears me out. You chose your own life. At this point, you should be able to do anything you want. How do I put it? I already died once. Now I'm thinking about a bunch of stuff. But I guess thinking about settling things with Alexei is enough for now. The rest will probably come out in the wash. Sounds okay to me. Speaking of settling things, I filled Estelle in on all the stuff that happened. Guess what she did? Hmm? She said I had to let her do the same thing everyone else did. So she smacked me on the head, called it even. <laughs> That's Estelle. It kind of hurt, actually. Well, I think I'm gonna catch my shut-eye in here. Suit yourself. Try not to oversleep for once, though. This will bring the value back down, so the discrepancy with this should... <sighs> nope. It's nowhere near enough! Yuri! What are you all doing out here? Shut up and leave me alone! Oh, it's you. Nice to see you too. So what kind of experiment is this anyway? Is something wrong? No, it's being kept well under control. And it's stable. As annoying as it is to admit, Dane Nomos and this system of Alexei's are both pretty amazing. So then where's the problem? The effective area of control is more limited than I thought. The control barrier originates at the barrier Blastia. She's stable inside it, but she can't leave. I guess Dane Nomos alone couldn't take the place of all those Apatheia. So long trips are out of the question. Also, the barrier Blastia is part of the system. As long as it's in use, this city is defenseless. That's why I'm out here trying to figure out a way for her to move around freely. Why can't Estelle just take Deinomos with her wherever she goes? It was really only designed to contain air that's gone out of control. I don't think it could actually affect Estelle in any way. I guess that's how it was with Duke, too. Don't worry, I'll come up with something. Or my name isn't Rita Mordio. I won't let Estelle wind up trapped like that again. Nobody treats my friend like just some thing. Okay, I'll leave you to it. Nothing to worry about. You've got the best genius under the sun with you. Yes, I know Rita can help me. I'll have this ready by tomorrow. You get yourself to bed. Okay, okay. Don't push yourself too hard. Same to you, Estelle.
What are you doing, Judy? I'm trying to see if I can contact Pharaoh again. If Zaude is connected to the ancient catastrophe, Pharaoh might know something about it. Isn't he gonna ask about Estelle? I'll tell him it looks like everything will be okay. All right, thanks. You know, the only real goal I've had in life has been to destroy the Hermes Blastia. I didn't have to think about other things while I was doing that. Other things? Oh, this world. Me. Lots of things. Had I never met Estelle, I might still be flying around with Ba'ul, not thinking of anything. Pharaoh said you'd change too. Don't get me wrong. I'm telling him Estelle will be alright because I really believe it. I have no intention of ignoring the Blastia or the air. Is that part of the lots of things you mentioned? Sorry, forget I said that. I won't kill Estelle, nor will I let her be killed. I also can't let Alexei go on. Okay, we head out tomorrow morning. Just get back by then. Understood. Judy. Hmm? Let's win this one. Okay.
Ready to call it a day. You coming too, Rapid? Tomorrow, we fight. Hope everybody can get some sleep. Going already? It looks like things here won't be settled for a while. I had hopes that we'd have the guild ships at our disposal. I heard they've been having some issues. It seems they've been unable to decide on a course of action since the Dawn's passing. It looks like I'll be one step behind you again this time. No hard feelings, no matter which of us gets to Alexei first, right? Oh yeah, are you done trying to get Estelle back? I mean, she's still a princess. And what about all that stuff with the Imperial succession? The Council has chosen Yoder as their leader. For all intents and purposes, he's got their nomination for the throne. Hmm, okay. So that's why you don't need to chase her around anymore? That's not it. It's just that i finally come to terms with the choices she's made for herself. Wow, you sure loosened up. Don't give me a hard time. It's something I've had to struggle with in my own way. Well, she'd be happy to hear it. I'll bring the problems of the air and the Blastia to His Highness's attention. He'll be able to come up with some way of helping, I'm sure. And as for Lady Estelise, Yuri, you have my confidence. I appreciate it. Sorry for being such a pain. Well, I'm gonna get going. See you at Zaude. As far as anyone is concerned, the capital was retaken because of my efforts. It isn't just with this, though. No one knows the things you that brave Vesperia have done for them. They probably never will. Are you satisfied with that? slept a little. My hair is a mess. Is that all you're worried about? <laughs> Sounds like we're all good. Here you go. You pulled it off. Now we just need Judy and Estelle. Here I am. Good morning, everyone. Oh, morning, Judith. Were you able to get in touch with Pharaoh? Yes, but you won't like what he told me about Zaude. He says it's a place that must be left undisturbed by both Antilochea and humans. I wonder why. Such an encouraging send-off. Well, it's not like we can just say, oh, thanks for telling us, and not go. Alex says it's Zaude, and I'm really not in the mood to just let him go. You're right. Pharaoh will have to understand. We already came this far. We can't stop now. Besides, if we just ignore him, the whole world's gonna be in all kinds of trouble. That's the spirit. Now we just need Estelle. Rita, did you see her? Estelle won't be coming. Hmm? She can't fight anymore. Wait, you don't mean... The control was a success. But she needs to avoid air interference in order to keep her power from activating. Huh? But all Blastia need air to work, don't they? Yes. So I tried the same thing as Raven. Using her own life energy for power. Are you serious? I really wouldn't recommend that. I couldn't find any other way. 
At least she can use formulas without worrying about air. But it's not just controlling the power of the child of the full moon. Even Arts will use her life. She could be in serious danger if she had to exert herself. So she won't be coming with us anymore. And was she okay with that? No. Estelle! Hey! You're just here to see us off, right? Rita, I'm sorry. Please take me with you. What did I tell you? You'll lose your life just by using your arts. You could go on living with no problem if you just wouldn't use them. I sat up all night thinking about what you told me. At first I thought, finally, I'll be able to live a normal life. Yeah, you've suffered enough. You can rest now. Thank you, Rita. You all are risking your lives to fight. Even the fate of this world is at stake. Knowing that, my only choice is to fight alongside you. Estelle. There are still things I can do for my friends. So I'm asking you, please, take me with you. I want to tell you now, but you decided this for yourself. I won't turn you down. Yes, and she doesn't really listen when she sets her mind to something. Ah, well, let's take her. Nobody likes having their friends run off to steal all the fun. Yeah, we'll all help out to make this easy on her. Promise me one thing. You will never, never push yourself too hard. Got it? I'll never forgive you if you break that promise. All right. <laughs> Trying to forbid this bunch from pushing themselves is pretty pointless. So our next problem is just how to go about actually getting to Zauda. Don't worry. There's one friend you're forgetting. Oh, is he okay? I told you, he's strong. Everyone, I also just finished the repairs on the ship. That's right, Tokunaga's here too. So everything's ready. This is it, the final battle. Yeah. Yeah. Can I eat a gel? No. <laughs> Does the pooch look a little scary to anyone else? Oh, he's probably just hungry enough for his wild instincts to kick in. <sighs> the pooch isn't the only one about to go wild. I'm no good at diets, seriously. This isn't a diet, it's a fast. Why do we have to stop eating too? We can't have delicious smells just wafting by. We're just as hungry as you are. Ah, uh, what a tyrant.
It was so easy! So that's Zaude. It's huge. It's sort of shaped like a ring. Anybody with fingers big enough for that wouldn't have any trouble taking over the world. I wonder if we'll get in without being seen. Whoa, look! Over there! Pharaoh. one of the strongest in Delakea. And even he couldn't do anything to it. What did we get ourselves into? It reconstituted itself by manipulating the air. What processing speed. Let's go in from below. Pharaoh's doing all the work. But at least he's got Alexei looking up for now. Pharaoh, thank you. Rita, that magic you used was amazing! What do you mean? That wasn't really anything special. Are you kidding? It was special! That was really, really cool! Enough already! It seriously was not anything special. Compared to you. Oh! I was thinking how lucky I am to have a friend who's so gifted with magic. Really? Yes, really! <laughs> Thanks. Close? This thing is bigger than I thought. Is this really one big Blastia? There's no way! It must possess unimaginable power. Whoa, look! That's a night battleship, right? Could it be Flynn? Nah, I bet it's the Royal Guard, which means... The place is crawling with them. They've got the main entrance covered. There aren't that many. We could blow them away before they knew what hit them. Easy. We're not here to get noticed. Let's see if there isn't some other way in.
see my amazing performance out there? Yeah, you were great. But are you okay? Huh? I mean, doesn't it strain your heart when you do an art like that? Hmm. Uh, I'll be fine. You sure? Well, go easy on yourself. I wonder if my heart really can take it. It's a vent. Leave it to me! Rita, don't worry. I'm fine. Please, I'm, I'm not worried. You clearly are. Oh, shut up! Hurry up and get that thing open. You're the only one shouting. Got it! Wonderful. Let's take a look. That. Yeah, neither did I, actually. That was my first time. Really? You sure put on a good show. <laughs> I thought it might be better to go all out, you know? Baul agrees. <laughs> I'm sure he does. We're counting on you, Judith. And I'm counting on you. Carol, you'll just make yourself hungrier. Sharp stomachs make short graces, Carol. What does that mean? It means hunger can make you rude, and that leads to angry people attacking you with sharp things. I think you're a little off. But whatever, Yuri and Rita seem to be pretty calm despite not having eaten in a while. I'm At used to it. it. Uh-huh. Ah! Oh, there's a delicious steak right on top of Repeat's back! It's a trap. Don't succumb to temptation. Maybe we should do something about this. Yuri! Yuri! I found a green piece of veggie bread in my bag! I can eat it, right? Right? What the? No, Carol, don't! Seriously, this is getting dangerous. Let's eat something already.
Huh? What are you writing? Item names? Yes, I'm working on the collector's book. Look how many items we have already. Wow, you filled in a lot. It must be fun since you like books so much. Well, keep up the good... No. From what I can see, yes. It looks like it's only about halfway complete. What? At halfway? Keep on working on it and come back when you've made some real progress. Uh, uh, I'll fill this book up all the way and then I'll make you eat your words. Didn't this used to be your book, Rita? Money seems to disappear before you know it. No, it disappears because you use it. Sure, but if you only use a little at a time, you don't realize how much you're spending. I guess we've been spending a little too much. What do you mean? We need to spend more. Really? But why? The more gold we spend, the more it comes back to us. And it brings its friends, too. R really? How interesting. Huh? Rita, your name's on this money. Exactly. I've been writing my name on our gold so we'll know when it comes back to us. And when it does come back, I bet it'll have doubled at least. So go on, use it! <laughs> what a lovely little fairy tale. when he won a royal tournament during the previous Emperor's reign. I got to cross swords with him once, and I didn't last more than three minutes. So then he's really, really strong. And don't forget, he's surrounded by his royal guard. None of this sounds very promising. Hey, we've got De Nomos, don't we? Yeah, yeah. Besides, we've been through all kinds of stuff together on this journey. Yeah, we're tighter than any kind of guard, royal or not. All right, so say we handle the royal guard. It's still a coin toss in the end. I guess we'll never be too prepared when it comes to facing Alexei. Right. We'll have to give it everything we've got. Let's do this! 
So Pharaoh's been absorbing air too. Is he trying to restabilize it? We owe him one for keeping the fight up this long. No, I don't think that's it. My guess is he's taking in all that air to disable Zaude's power source. That way he'll be able to mess with Alexei's plants, right? Right. Right, Judith? Who, me? What was the question? Never mind. It'll be easy if we can just get inside. We'll stop everything in one shot. Wish it were that easy, kid. But we'll be up to our ears in traps and royal guards. Gotta admire his confidence. Do you really mean that? Pharaoh, please be okay. We got a head start. It doesn't seem fair. <laughs> Shining Fang! Destruct us! seen plenty of Blastia so far. This one's in a different class altogether. If this was made at the end of the Garayo civilization, it may contain clues to all their technology. Chances are pretty good if the building we saw on that relief in Murzo is actually Zaude. So is there a connection between the Cataclysm and the Autophagos? If it does come from the end of the Garayo civilization, maybe it can turn back the Autophagos. I wonder if that's why they carved the relief. It all adds up, but I keep going back to Pharaoh's words. About disturbing Zaude? Thinking about it isn't likely to get us anywhere. We just have to go on. We have a great opening now! All right, let's go! Someone as strong as Pharaoh tells you not to go messing with Zaude. Makes you wonder. I wish he'd use regular words when he talked, though. Definitely. If it's really all that dangerous, you'd think he'd want to make himself clear. Maybe it was something Pharaoh had difficulty expressing in his own way. He did take the time to warn us. That shows at least some concern for our well-being, right? You mean that maybe he's warmed up to us a bit? Yes.
enemy in front.
time. This looks like fun. Keep your eyes on my sword.
the enemy in front. mechanisms on the ocean floor. It's a common way to keep intruders out. The Shikos ruins were the same way. Places only certain people could enter, that kind of stuff. So only people who know the correct steps can enter? Exactly. But if we rack our brains a little, we should be able to figure it out. So why haven't we figured it out yet? You tell us, Captain. You're the master puzzle solver. What? Uh, since when? Since now. So put on your thinking cap and figure this out. Ugh, I can't believe this. This looks like fun! Shut up! 
There's no way we're gonna lose. The dog's looking a little spooked. Why do you look so happy, Rita? Who, me? Repeat being scared makes you happy. Huh. I have no idea what you're talking about. He's just not too good with water, okay? Being at the bottom of the ocean is a little tough on him. A little tough, huh? Keep your eyes on my sword. Yeah. 